are in front of the Senkata plant where the gas uh, for people's cooking as well as for uh, the cars is stored. And this, there has been for two weeks now a um, blockades that the people who are against the coup and have been pro Evo Morales have been setting up to try to put pressure to stop gasoline from going into the city of La Paz and uh, force the government uh, to resign. And it's been an incredible uh, mass movement of people all over here who have set up barricades. Now this street that you're looking at now, this is the main street that connects the whole country, that connects uh, La Paz to Cochabamba, to Santa Cruz, and obviously to Potosí, to Potosí, Sucre. There's not one car going along here because they have shut this down, uh, just like they've shut down the uh, trucks that would be carrying a lot of the merchandise, the food uh, that would go to the city. So there's shortages of chicken, there's shortages of eggs, of vegetables, uh, all kinds of things. And it's part of an incredibly amazing grassroots movement of mostly indigenous people to say no to the coup. Now you see these military people are the ones who came in yesterday and massacred people. We don't know yet uh, how many people have died. We know there's at least eight and probably more that haven't been confirmed yet. And dozens of people that are in the hospital. Um, we saw them coming. Tell them what the these people are walking up to them and talking to. And these people are like this woman up went and this yelling at them and saying, you're assassins. Or talking to them sincerely. And, and trying to convince them to uh, not kill the people and to go back into their barracks. And that's the main demand of these people right now is to say, get the army back in their barracks. And one thing that has happened since this coup took place is that the woman who declared herself president, Janini Agnes, uh, had passed a law, which she should have no right to do because she's only interim to convoke new elections. And she passed a law saying that the military could shoot down people without any consequences. And so the, right after she did that, we saw uh, the massacre near Cochabamba, and then we saw the massacre here yesterday. And so people uh, have been gathering all day. There's a big town hall meeting that's happening uh, right down there with thousands of people outside where they're talking about what they're going to do uh, to organize and have a massive march that's going to the city um, bringing their uh, dead down into La Paz to say this won't be allowed. Can I ask you a couple of questions? They said that this building was dynamited and I don't see any trace of a, of a well, dynamite. I want to say that the press in Bolivia is totally propaganda. All it uh, reports is what uh, this coup government wants people to hear. And so it pretended that the violence was caused by the people and that they dynamited this, which is totally wrong. Uh, the violence was the military. In fact, we saw uh, the, the dead bodies with the shots in their back uh, and to their heads. So uh, the Now, the only way to get out here is by walking out here, right? You can't come out here. You can't drive Tens here. of kilometers to get here. The only way we got in your let just recently was with the inside the Hertz. We, uh, last night, we were stuck and walked for miles and miles because this whole community has shut the place down. And the only way we got in today was, we, was because we were with a, a, a hearse that was bringing in one of the dead bodies. And so the people kept opening up the spaces and removing the stones and the barricades to let the hearse inside. So if you want to see, people are angry. And here are some of the students. What does their sign say? There won't be peace as long as there's impunity. And these people think that there are dead people from yesterday's massacre that are inside here that the military is keeping. So they're eight to firm deaths with the bodies, but they think there's more bodies inside. So this man is saying they want international help. 
because they are unarmed people and look what they're up against. And so they want the international community to come in and help. Nosotros estamos pidiendo la renuncia de la presidenta golpista. We want a asesina de paz. Yes, we say that this president is an assassin, is a coonmaker, is a dictator, and we want her gone. Porque nosotros no vamos a parar este, estas marchas, esta, esta movilización hasta que renuncie la eh, Ay, golpista, Ay, la asesina Años. We're not going to stop our mobilizations until she's gone. Este es una, es un gobierno dictador. Ah, ahora es un gobierno dictador esto. This is a dictatorship. What we're living. Vaya, no no and she said that now. Pacíficamente aquí. She said over there. Pacíficamente estábamos. Le invitamos a Hernán Cabildo que se está llegando al puente. El auto no se lo va a levantar. ¡Chila, te sale del mar! ¿Dónde está el ¿Por qué no nos cagas la puta? ¡Están en el mar! ¡Cacas la plaza! ¡Se lo van a chupar a la frente! 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 Disparando. Nos están matando, nos están matando más que a pesos. So let's just stand over here and I'll do it real quick. So if you stay over there, get a so I'll just do some translating of what people are saying. So they're saying that you are murderers, you should be back in your barracks, that don't listen to what this new government is saying. How can you murder your own people? Take, have, you should have a conscience. Don't listen to the orders that they're giving you. Don't kill your own people. Don't kill your own people. Take out, take off your uniforms and resign. Now, as far as I, I can tell. Señor periodista, nosotros queremos estos soldados, estos militares que vayan a defender a Chile, el mar. En que bolivianos nos estamos matando, están matando a su pueblo. Están matando al pueblo alteño. El que me dice hasta que levante, gracias. hasta que denuncie. Áñez, hasta que denuncie. No es a denunciar, no se lo va a levantar. Gracias al alto, tenemos gas. Hasta el peso ¿Cómo tiene ley. Su, su papá, los, Goli, tiene, tenemos ley, hasta los animales tienen ley, pero aquí ayer nos han asesinado, nos han metido balas y ningún informativo de nuestros canales están informando lo que está paseando la realidad. And I'm going to go ahead So she said, you can't even just murder dogs here. But look how they murdered us. And if you turn on any of the press here, you won't see anything of what happened yesterday. And that's why we need the international community to come here and do something to help us. This government has given the black card to the military so that they kill the citizens. Y no sean juzgados. Este gobierno ha hecho eso el 460. zona nos tratan como terroristas. Los, las noticias nacionales han salido vecinos que defienden la zona terroristas. ¿Y ahora qué ha dicho de ellos? No ha salido ni una bala de su lado. ¿Y de dónde están los muertos? Ni una bala de su lado, dicen los muertos. ¿De qué han muerto? So we residents who have been protecting our community here and doing our, uh, our peaceful vigil, we're being called terrorists. And they're saying that there wasn't even one bullet that came from them when we saw all kinds of bullets. In fact, we have bullets. And how would all these people die if it wasn't for their bullets? But that's what the press is saying. Well, we've got a picture of a man with a bullet in his
in this short time. Look at how many people they're killed. In cold blood. Nobody here had any arms. They are the ones who are armed. There was no shooting from our side. The only shooting that happened was from there. We are not armed. They shot at a woman no. No. She said that they've said that we're drunk and with coca and alcohol. And we look like we're drunk. And they're really, really angry at their national news. They're really angry at their national news. They're really angry at their national news. El buen periodista, hay un camino nomás. Escúchame. Un camino. Que se denuncie esta presidenta. Listo. Acabó todo. All right, we gotta make him. We gotta make him. Yeah. Why don't you leave? Because they're coming up close. Yeah. Medea, I have a feeling you're gonna come after us. Okay, let me go. No, don't, don't, don't turn it off. Okay. Keep it. Go that way. I don't think you're gonna get in the middle. I'm telling you. I was on the phone. Watch the whole thing. All right, so we're getting out of here because they're coming closer to us. And they put out a call that the foreign press that cover these kinds of things uh, will not be tolerated. So anyway, we'll take off right now and be back later.